Muy buenas chicos, aquí estamos como siempre en un día especial en la Expo de Chicago. Estamos con Oscar Terol, estamos con Back de Spooky Pinball. Welcome back. Y vamos a hacer una breve entrevista relacionada sobre todo con, con Scooby-Doo. Welcome, uh, congratulations for this machine. We are really proud of it. We have tested in Spain the first machine, the first Scooby-Doo that was there. And how's the people feeling? How's the team feeling? How the people receive the release of this machine? Oh, it, there's so much hype around the machine in general when it first came out because it's a theme that everybody wanted. I mean, kids wanted this theme, adults wanted this theme. It's truly a theme meant for everybody. I mean, everybody's grown up with Scooby-Doo, so everybody was very excited that, that we got to do Scooby-Doo, which I feel like we were a great fit for it, so. I think it's clearly one of the stars of the show. Uh, not for what it was from the beginning, but there's a lot going on in the machine. We already know that there was an upgrade, we did it, but there's more upgrades coming to this machine. There's more going on in the future. Yeah. You have plans for it, new code or... Yeah, so uh, I'm not sure when this will be airing, but we have new code coming out this week. There's gonna be some cool new features in there with like extra ball and some other fun things. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna keep the code updates rolling on this thing. I mean, we could code this thing forever. Like there's so much content in the world of Scooby-Doo that we would love to add into the game. So we're just gonna keep adding to it and adding to it and uh, get as much in there as we possibly can. We absolutely love working on it, so. Okay, great. Well, actually in Spain, we know there's C certification. We, yeah. we got to have a prototype, so we unboxed it. We did a video, people. In our channel is now the second top video you know, since we started, so amazing. it's incredible the receiving, at least in Spain. I'm but, glad we were a part of that. This, so it's amazing. Yeah, I'm uh, very I wanted, I wanted to ask that. you one other thing regarding Spooky in general. Yeah. Uh, of course, Spooky is always related to Spooky themes. Yeah. At a certain point, it's gonna go a little bit outside purely Spooky. Yeah. Well, TNA was already something not Right, so and, and Rick and Morty being a little bit outside yeah. of that world yeah. as well. Right now, our, our, our forte has so far been spooky things and cartoons. <laughs> we love doing anything related to horror and anything related to cartoons, like we did the Jetsons, you know, we did Rick yes. and Morty. Yes. So I would love to keep working on those things in the future. I love doing all the horror stuff. I love working on the funny cartoons. And we actually got some stuff planned in the future that I think is also a little bit outside of the box that I, I think people will be surprised. But okay. yeah, we uh, everything we do, we always want it to fit what Spooky Pinball is, what that brand is. And I think it's going to do exactly that, so. Okay. I mean, for us, we were together doing the unboxing in Madrid when this the prototype came. And the moment we opened the box, we saw just a little bit of the green of the metal. Yeah. And immediately we went like, okay, there's something going on here. <laughs> like in general, what we can say as, as users, as customers, is that this is like really a step forward, a future forward. Yeah, it's, it's our one. prettiest game for sure. Okay, so I guess this is going to be the standard for the new. <laughs> yeah, every always raising the bar. Yes. Every single time we want the next game to be prettier than the last. I, we're always improving every single game. We listen to everything everybody says. Yeah. And we always are working our absolute hardest to make improvements on anything we can, so. Okay, what about white bodies? Regular bodies, is, yeah. is this an experiment? Will you think about maybe in the future doing more? Oh yeah, we'll definitely do another wide body yeah. in the future. Um, we're not marrying ourselves to either. We're not gonna only do standards or only wide bodies. Uh, to me, certain themes are wide bodies. Certain themes are standard bodies. So we're just gonna accommodate to what the theme is. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll definitely be going back and forth. So okay. it'll be fun. Thank you, bye. So you told us what to expect in a week, but where is Spooky headed in the future? What to expect from from Spooky in 2024, for example? Oh man, no, nothing that I can talk about. <laughs> but um, we love that we've, the game like we, we we've did. got a lot planned in the future. Um, I mean, we just built our new factory again. We, we've been doing new buildings like every other year for the past 10 years almost. So, you know, we're always working on improving our production flow, making sure everything is, is as top notch when it goes out as possible. So. Yeah, I think people can expect some really, really interesting things from us in this next year or so. Um, I don't even know what month it is at this point. <laughs> it's time is, once you're in pinball, time doesn't mean anything anymore. It's just always going, <laughs> so. I read somewhere that you love to work uh, again in a double-sided play field like you did in Halloween. How do you feel? Is that true? Is that, how do you feel about working again in a double-sided play field? Oh, a, uh, another dual theme you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, so you know, when Halloween came out with Ultraman, uh, on every interview I did, I kept saying like, we will never do another dual theme. That was so hard, like there's no way we'll go back. Uh, my opinion on that has definitely changed. Uh, in, in the most recent year, we learned a lot from doing that one. I know how we could do it again in a way that would be really awesome. So it's definitely something we would consider doing in the future, but uh, it's not really currently something I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, but it, it, we could definitely do it again, so. Okay. 
Okay, just to, to finish, do you want to say something to the people in Europe, to the people in Spain, to know Spooky, where they can reach you, where we can find you in the, in the network, in social media. We yeah. are doing live in Twitch. You are working a lot in that yeah. aspect. How yeah. can we reach you? How yeah, so you we're, on, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, just Spooky Pinball Official on Instagram. Uh, on Facebook, it's just Spooky Pinball. On Twitch, it's just, it's Spooky Pinball or Spooky Pinball if it, yeah, Official, just, official. It, it is official, okay. <laughs> so I run it and I have no idea. <laughs> it's Spooky Pinball Official on Twitch. I do live streams every single week. Uh, on my Facebook, Bug Scream and Stream, I'm out there commenting on stuff. I'm always keeping an eye on things. We're on Pinside. You can find any of us on Pinside. We're always lurking around, commenting on things, just reading everything. So, yeah, we're everywhere. So cool. We kind of wait to see what you got prepared for all of us. Thank you for your time, Bug. Gracias a todos. Hasta otra. Anytime. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you, Black.